Hello YouTube, Chen is back. Sorry for the long wait and welcome to my second part of the Arduino Smart Robot Car tutorial. Today we'll make all the dots connected. First off, I want to talk about updates of the board's installation. Here you can see the L298N and the rocker switch are hanging out closely at the front. The rocker switch should have the two pins facing up and face toward the back of the vehicle. L298N is fixed on two holes next to the rocker switch. There are four holes on the back of the board designed for mounting the Arduino. So if your board looks different, you probably have to flip the board and mount the motors on the opposite side. Here we'll use some screws and standoffs to mount the Arduino. Two screws installed diagonally should be good enough, but here I installed three of them. The battery holder should be mounted on the bottom of the car. There are two holes designed for that purpose as well. Make sure the wires are facing to the front and use the countersunk screws to mount it. The Arduino sensor shield just needs to be installed on top of the Arduino. Check the orientation by matching the screw holes. Here you can see both sides of the car after installation. The next step is to solder wires to the motors. We have to disassemble both the motors first. The powered screwdriver I got lately is really fun for disassembling and you can check my review video in the description. Solder the black and red wires come with a kit to the motor pins and you could add a bit of hot glue to make the connection extra stronger. Don't overdo it since it will interfere with the battery holder. Once the motors are back into position, we can connect them to the L298N. We'll need to pass the wires through the circular cutout in the middle to the other side of the car, then connect the four wires to the motor terminal blocks on both sides. The next step is to connect the power to L298N. Pass through the two battery holder wires, and the plan is to connect the positive to the rocker switch so it controls the main power. Since the switch is very close to the L298N 5V terminal, we'll just use a tiny jumper to connect it. Solder the jumper to the middle pin of the rocker switch, then connect it to the 5V terminal block. Don't forget another jumper to bridge the L298N 12V and 5V. To learn more about it, check my L298N tutorial. The rest of the power connection is to solder the right wire from the battery holder to the other pin on the rocker switch. And connect the ground. To power the Arduino, just connect the L298N ground and either 12V or 5V to the sensor shield ground and VCC. Here's some graphics for your reference about what happened so far. Install 4 AA batteries and close the rocker switch and you should see the L298N LED light up as well as Arduino. To control the motors with Arduino, just connect the 6 L298N controlling pins to sensor shield digital pin 5 to 10. Again, check my L298N tutorial for more detail. Let's test the motors. Upload the smart car motor test code in the description to your Arduino, and uh, it should repeat driving forward and turn right. You can see that it's not going straight, but that's something we can tweak later in software. If one of your wheels is reversed in the beginning of the program, that means the motor is miswired. Just switch the two wires on the L298N.
The last bits to be connected are the ultrasonic sensor and the servo. The sensor actually needs to be connected to the very far back of the sensor shield, right on the bottom right corner. I have to use two sets of jumpers and feed through them under the Arduino to avoid long wire stangling. Here I made a mistake bridging the two jumper sets, so be careful. Then just connect all the four wires matching from left to right to the sensor shield. For the servo, the brown wire is ground, red for 5 volt as usual, and orange is for the signals. Any digital pins should work, and we'll just use digital pin 0 as an example. That's it, everything is finally connected. Here's another picture for your reference, and let me know if you have any questions. Before wrapping up, let's do more tests to make sure everything is properly connected. Upload the smart car servo test to your Arduino, and it will start doing a simple sweep. Upload the smart car ultrasonic sensor test and open serial monitor. You can see the sensor is working properly. Again, the codes are in the description. Hope your car is running at this point and I will work on the code for the part 3. Yes, we'll avoid some obstacles next time. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. See you soon.